Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority app guy. It's Friday, which means it's time for another episode of Google Play Weekly. This week, we're going to talk about an awesome new Chromecast application called Castaway, the Google Now launcher, which was just released to the Google Play Store, Teasin, WhatsApp, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. Let's start off this week with some good news. If you're a fan of Real Cloud Player and you live somewhere other than the United States and Canada and have been waiting for a global release, then today is your lucky day. Since February 24th, Real Player Cloud has been available to the entire world. There have been a lot of noted benefits to Real Player Cloud in the past, including being one of the first apps to have Chromecast support. Unfortunately, Chromecast isn't available to everyone in the world yet, which, well, still sucks. Here are some quick stats about the application if you don't know anything about it. You get 2 gigabytes of cloud storage with the application and additional storage starts at $5 per month. You can also get a free gigabyte of storage for everyone you refer to the application. It supports most videos video formats, allows for HD video streaming, and has Roku support. Also, it's free to download in the Play Store right now. Our next bit of news is really more of a well duh kind of thing because pretty much everybody knew that the Google Now launcher would eventually make its way to the Google Play Store, which it now has. Okay, so here's the good news. It is in fact in the Google Play Store right now free of charge. It comes with all the features you'd find on the Nexus 5, including the OK Google command phrase, the built-in Google Now, the larger icons, and the new home screen organizational structure. For a lot of people, this is not new information. Unfortunately, there is also some bad news. The app is currently only compatible compatible with Google Play Experience devices and Nexus devices that are running Android 4.4 KitKat. Of course, you can just download the extra files and install it yourself, which is surprisingly easy to do, and we'll have a link to that in the video description should you want to try it out. So as it turns out, WhatsApp made an appearance at Mobile World Congress this year to announce an upcoming feature that adds phone calls. It wasn't long ago that Facebook bought the popular chat service to the tune of $19 billion, and it appears that development is moving along according to schedule. According to the presentation made by the company's CEO, the feature should be rolling out to people by quarter two of this year. So far, there has been no official word about pricing. Word around the digital water cooler is that the service will be free at least to start with. Our own Andrew Grush postulated that the service would be free for a year and then every subsequent year there'd be an annual fee. I personally think he's right because that fits with the current WhatsApp pricing pattern which makes sense and it would ostensibly bring double the income which fits Facebook's motives and that also makes sense. So have you been offended lately? No? Well our next story should fix that. Okay, so there was an application released recently called the Bro App. The Bro App is a piece of garbage that automatically texts your girlfriend so you can pay less attention to her and more attention to your, quote, bros, unquote. The app refers to it as outsourcing your love life and claims to be able to let you ignore your significant other entirely while you do other things. Whether or not the developers had control of their mental faculties when they conceived this application remains a subject of intense debate. It's been almost unanimously considered sexist by tech pundits, including this guy, and let's face facts, people who use an application like this are people who really shouldn't be talking to women anyway. One editorial claimed the app only exists because of television shows that promote the bro lifestyle like How I Met Your Mother. I maintain that you can't blame television for the actions of stupid people unless they're watching MTV. At this year's Mobile World Congress, Infrared developers of Polaris Office showed off just how easy it can be to port an Android application to Teasin. It's apparently really simple to convert Android apps into Teasin apps using a tool called Polaris App Generator. Here's how it works. You run the application through the app generator and it spits out an app that is compatible with Teasin. The service won't be free and each app that gets the Teasin treatment will cost about $5,000 and support will last for about two years. The exorbitant charge, according to Infrared, is to keep pirates from stealing popular Android apps. How they are able to do this is rather simple and I am oversimplifying it just a little bit. Essentially, they add a standalone download runtime to the application which allows it to run inside of Teasin without the app dev being forced to change anything. It is then converted into a Teasin executable file and it's ready to go. If Samsung ever releases a Teasin phone, this will probably become a much bigger deal. So who's ready for some trending applications? As usual, if you want to check any of these applications out, you can find the links in the written companion which is in the video description. First up this week is McAfee Antivirus and Security. At Mobile World Congress this year, they announced a new pricing scheme which essentially makes all of their best features free. So now all of the stuff like antivirus, anti-theft, and all the features therein are totally free. There is still a subscription service for $2.99 a month or $29.99 a year that adds 2 gigabytes of backup space for photos and videos, phone support, and removes all of the advertisements. This is way better than it used to be. 
You may remember Punch Quest from last year when it was released. It is an infinite runner where you play as a dude that punches everything and every now and then gets to ride a dinosaur that shoots laser beams. The app was recently updated to include new enemies and achievements. It's also now free as the developer has decided to go with an in-app purchase model instead of a paid model. If you've been hesitating to check this out, now is a great time to try it. Our next title called Out There won Touch Arcade's most anticipated mobile game of 2014 award and for a good reason. This is an atmospheric melancholy space game where you must survive the harsh conditions of being in outer space. It includes more than 300 adventures that results in three different main quest endings, item crafting, Google Play game services, and it even goes so far as to craft a new universe every time you play. It's $4 in the Google Play Store right now. Some of you may have heard of OneDrive back when it was called SkyDrive. Microsoft has updated the application to better compete with services like Dropbox and Google Drive. This includes automatic uploads of photos and videos, better integration with other Microsoft services, larger thumbnails, and of course, the boilerplate bug fixes and performance improvements. If you've never used it, you can get 10 gigabytes of storage right out of the gate by signing up for this service, so there is that. Last up this week is an application called Castaway, and if you have a Chromecast, then this could be the very next app that you download. Castaway is good for only one thing, and that's streaming locally stored files on your Android device to your Chromecast. It's free to use, and aside from the occasional hiccup, it seems to work really well. Well, that about wraps it up for the world of applications this week. Once again, I am Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to follow Android Authority, myself, or the rest of the awesome YouTube team, you can find our social media links in the video description below. If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome applications for you to watch right over there. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion in the video description for all the download links and source links. As always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.